about the basic call flow process. This is really going to address how the pieces fit together so that you have a, a, an idea of the flow process and where you can actually use IVR. So the basic flow, flow process, when a caller calls in, the first place that call hits is going to be a short tail switch. And in that switch will be a route point. A route point simply tells the call or controls the call where it goes next. Now, the switch, when a call is bound for the contact center, is then going to, in turn, take that call say, hey, this is for the contact center. I'm going to go to Enterprise Contact Center IRN. An IRN is an intelligent routing number. This is the same thing as a route point. On the PBX, you will have a route point with a number. On ECC, you will have an IRN with the identical number. That's how they know each other. They use the same naming convention. But for all intents and purposes, you won't really see the, the label route point in ECC, but you will see IRN. They are one and the same. Now, once the call gets to ECC, the IRN will have a destination. Typically, when you're thinking of a call going into a contact center queue, the destination is a group. Well, in short tells vernacular, in order to get to <clears throat> group, you actually hit a service. Now, the service knows about the group, but here's the distinction. The service is actually where the call gets queued. The service knows you want to go to customer service, but it won't relieve that call or release that call to customer service until it sees that an agent is available. Because the point is, we don't want to release that call to a group waiting for an agent when after 30 seconds, if there's nobody available in the primary group, we can actually look at a secondary group simultaneously. So the service usually has the group destination, and in my example, it's customer service. So where does IVR fit in this process? The first place is an IRN destination can be pointed to a script. And 95% of clients will point their IRN to a script. Why? Because the IVR will ask for an account number or look up information about the user. So it's to your advantage to send the destination of the IRN to a script first, which can do things such as play messages, greeting messages. If you have any legalese, such as mini Mirandas, your call may be recorded and monitored for quality purposes. IVR does that. So rather than sending the IRN directly to the group, it's to your advantage to send it to the IRN, excuse me, the IVR, and the IVR then can send it to the service. Then that's the next place you would use IVR is at the service level. So inside that process there, this is where IVR is commonly used for playing messages while holding in queue, offering callbacks while holding in queue. So these are the two places that you will commonly find where IVR is positioned. So I wanted you to have a general flow process. The IVR doesn't extend to the PBX. It's solely behind the server and part of the server in ECC.